Hi everyone, I have uh, some new coils that I made and I'm trying to establish a kind of baseline method of uh, measuring their efficiency as far as uh, what's going in and what's coming out in power in watts and uh, I'll go through the setup here and uh, you can tell me if I'm uh, overlooking something or if I'm making an error in my calculations uh, my field is not electronics so for me I'm just learning as I go here so uh, keep that in mind uh, maybe we'll start with the signal generator first here just so that you know the signal generator is isolated from the power grid by this isolation transformer a one-to-one -one isolation transformer so the grid is on this side here at the back coming in and it isolates it and the output of the 120 is coming out through here and connecting to the power cord right here to the signal generator. So I'm not having a coupling happening between the grid and the circuit. That's very important to understand that. The signal generator is set at the 1 megahertz range and we're in the uh, 300 uh, kHz uh, range at seeing at that dial is in the 0.3 range and we're sending it to the circuit um, square wave <clears throat> these connectors here that's taking the output lead of my uh, signal generator and this other wire here is the ground I clipped it on that connector there so that the two here don't short out so uh, those two wires are coming to the input of the uh, coils. Um, so the yellow one, which is the uh, hot side, I guess, of the signal generator, if you want, is uh, <coughs> uh, all these three coils here are actually in series with each other in this circuit. And... Um, the uh, ground here is going through this uh, 10 ohm resistor that's a 10 watt 10 ohm resistor and it has a 5% uh, accuracy and uh, that's uh, in series and I have my probe my oscilloscope probe attached to that to measure the amount of RMS volts uh, going across that uh, resistor that's feeding the circuit and that resistor is uh, in series with as well this uh, capacitor that's in series and that's actually a hundred and twenty picofarad capacitor and the way it's going that this capacitor the other side of that going into this coil here and that coil there is going into this coil here and that coil there is going back into this coil here and then it goes to the uh, yellow lead here back to the signal generator so well I guess it's probably going more this path if we look at it on a positive or negative but anyways we're sending AC so that's the that's what's happening the coils are in series the capacitors in the series this resistor is in series the whole thing's in series now <clears throat> each one of these coil have a secondary uh, pickup coil kind of antenna and that has its own uh, 1000 microfarad uh, 16 volt capacitor with a diode. The uh, diode is uh, to change it so that we have a DC. And then those leads are going to this really large uh, 30,000 microfarad capacitor just to make sure that you know we have the uh, still a pulse DC but this capacitor here should change it to very clean DC and across on that capacitor as well we have the same resistor which is a 10 ohm uh, 10 watt uh, 5 percent uh, accuracy resistor and so that output of this secondary coil is against a 10 ohm resistor as well and then we've got the uh, voltage meter here, which is this voltage meter here, across uh, measuring what we have as far as DC volts in that capacitor. 
So it's identical for each coil, this coil here, identical, 10 ohm capacitor, 30,000 microfarad, there's the voltage meter for that one. The third coil, same resistor, same voltage meter, and that's the voltage we're getting across that one. So every single coil has the identical diode. By the way, that diode there, you want to get the part number of that because that's the one that's working the best with the circuit. I've put other diodes and some of them can't even output anything. So I don't know what's happening with that. But every, every coil has the identical setup. 1000 microfarad capacitor, the same diode. So we have a total of three coils. And uh, let's look at the, uh, the information now. If we go to my oscilloscope, that's, what's, that's what the form uh, looks like that's going in. And um, even though I'm sending square wave, that's what, I'm, that's what the probe is picking up uh, in the, uh, across that resistor. And here is the information. Uh, so we're at pretty well 300 kHz smack on and the peak to peak is um, 1.1213 and the RMS voltage across that resistor is 381 millivolts and uh, these are the voltages that uh, we're getting from each coil 0.66 from coil 1 uh, 0.71 from coil 2 and well we can call that 0.75 as well from uh, coil 3 alright so there's the whole thing <coughs> so if we calculate that and we take the formula of uh, volts times volts equals uh, 0.148 from the signal generator so that's our 0.385 well I put at 0.83 uh, 0.385 compared to whatever we're showing there that's more actually than what's really being displayed anyway just to make the numbers round uh, so we have 140.148 and we divide that by the 10 ohm resistor so we have a total of 0 0.015 watts uh, going into the circuit and the coil output coil 1 is at 0.66 volts all right and there it is so 0 0.66 times 0 0.66 equals 0.44 divided by 10 equals 0 0.044 uh, watts and coil 2 is 0 0.71 all right so we're at 0 0.70, 0 0.9, that's close enough to 0 0.71 times 0 0.71, 0 0.50 divided by 10 equals 0 0.015. Coil 3 is, uh, well, that, that one was higher. Uh, I had uh, 0 0.75, but I guess as, as what, when I move the uh, my hand, there you go, when I move my hand over it or whatever, so that would be more like 0.75. <clears throat> so 0 0.75 times 0 0.75 equals 0 0.56 divided by 10 equals 0 0.056. So from adding the power of each one of these uh, coils, we have a total of 0.15 watts. All right, there's our total output. And um, if we look, we have 0 0.015 watts going in, if these calculations are correct. If they're not, please correct me, but that's what I'm figuring. And um, if we look at what's going in and what's going out, well, basically we have 10 times uh, the output than what's going in, if these calculations are correct. So uh, please uh, post your uh, comments and, uh, and uh, let me know if this uh, sounds okay to you. Thanks for your time. Bye now.